Now that we've gone across the river, making our verticals, we have collected the right number of verticals. We're at the opposite end, and we're ready to end the measurement. So I'm going to show us how to do our last station. We're at the location. I'm going to read that off my tagline. In this case, we're at 4.9. 4.9. Uh, we do have a depth here. Uh, we don't always have a depth, depending on your site. But here, in this case, I'm reading it off the waiting rod. 0 0.6. Entering that in. We're no longer in open water. We're at the edge. And in this case, we are at the left bank. Correction factor 1. No further comments. One last opportunity to enter a gauge height if we have one, and then hit done. If, you have, if you're happy with that number of verticals, hit the menu button, and you'll have the option to complete the measurement. Now before you close the measurement, the flow tracker will ask you, uh, if you're sure, do you want to go back and insert some stations? Do you want to make any edits to some improperly entered depths, for example? Now you have the opportunity. You won't be able to make any more changes on the handheld in the field, so you want to make sure you collected all the data necessary. There is some uh, data editing possible once we're back in the office. So I'm going to hit OK. It will show you any QC warnings that might have accumulated over the course of the measurement and again asks you if it's OK, if these are reasonable and you understand them. That's fine, we'll hit OK. And now we see all of our discharge data. I'm going to scroll down, take a look here. Does this discharge measurement look normal? If so, I'm going to hit the complete button. instrument saving the file. And now we're done. We're back at the home screen. That's the end of our measurement. Hopefully by the end of this video, you've gained all the information you need to get out there and start making flow tracker measurements. For more information on any topic, see the flow tracker manual or Sontech.com or just give us a call. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching. I'm Janice Lansfeld.